I like how the sentiment about Shanks' power changed after the recent manga chapters. However, I saw some saying that Shanks might just pursue himself out of confronting Kaido by offering him something because there's no way Shanks, his crews, or his ship survived without damages when they show up later at the Marineford. While the confrontation didn't last long otherwise Shanks wouldn't make it to the war. There are many unlikely explanations floating out here. So I thought to start with what information we know about each of them in one piece and see if we can have a better understanding of what happens. Kaido. He's a Yonko with a mythical zone type devil fruit, possibly. He's the strongest creature in the world, known according to Oda. His hobby is suicide. He jumped up 10,000 meters from the sky and only suffered a headache. He has been caught and tortured 18 times, and people as powerful as the Marines and other Yonko have attempted to execute him 40 times only to fail as Kaido survived every single attempt because every single execution weapon broke when being used on him. Which means he can be defeated but never killed. Even his chest shows a big injury too. He's maniac and moody. He was drunk crying to angry aggressive and violent. He's stubborn and is hard to negotiate with according to Law and Doflamingo. Also, his conversation with Big Mom was a big indication since he threatened to kill her if she comes to his territory. Shanks He's a Yonko with an unbelievable level of Conqueror's Hockey. He's the only character so far with a Conqueror's Hockey that actually damaged physical things. When he clashed with the Whitebeard on his ship, the sky was split in half as an indication of equal force from each character. Recently Oda revealed that Shanks has mastered to full extent all three types of hockey. Besides his conqueror's hockey, his sword skills are on par with the strongest swordsman in one piece. He was in Roger's crew and was the only one trusted with his straw hat. He's wise and is respected by many especially the world government. He always negotiates from a strong position and isn't afraid to confront his enemies even at their stronghold. He did that with the world government when he brought the Battle of Marineford to a close. Some might argue that the government wasn't ready for another war with a Yonko. But neither Blackbeard even wanted to clash with him too. So what do you think could happen when an unpredictable and unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Shanks won't back down and Kaido is not even going to negotiate. I think what happened is that they clashed for a while. Then, Kadio realized that there's no point fighting Shanks since his target is Whitebeard and he's gone. Then, the fight broke. There's no way the fight continued until one was defeated. What do you think? Asterisk theory by dare underscore dick. <laughs>